missing officers since the fire on board the submarine INS Sindhu Ratna have indeed died, the Navy confirmed on Thursday. Their bodies were found after the submarine was brought back to the Mumbai coast this morning. The submarine was being sea tested after a refit, but it now emerges that its batteries were not reportedly replaced because contracts were not finalized in time. INS Sindhu Ratna coming into the Mumbai harbour more than a day after a fire on board. Two young officers, Lieutenant Commander Kapish Moal and Lieutenant Manoranjan Kumar, now confirmed dead. Moal was in his mid-twenties. He would have told me only one thing. I would have loved to have died for my country in a battle. This is embarrassing. The cause of the accident, still unclear. But old batteries may have caused the fire on board. Sources have told NDTV that the submarine went out for sea trials with old batteries since, shockingly, the new contract wasn't finalized in time. The fatal delay for the contract raises questions on the Defence Ministry's red tape. As the news of the death of two officers sunk in, A.K. Anthony too came under pressure to quit following the Navy Chief's resignation. Raksha Mantra lehe ko apni khud ki kamzoriyon ko, apni galatiyon ko, aur Raksha Mantri ko Cases like the VK Singh affair, the Tatra scam case, the Augusta Westland VVIP helicopter scandal have marred his record seven years as Defence Minister. And he presided over an unprecedented slowdown in the modernization and acquisition process in the Defence Ministry. Consider this. Number of contracts fell from 84 in 2007-2008 to about 50 each over the next three years. Seven major companies blacklisted. Contracts for artillery guns, fighter jets and submarines, all critical for the three forces, not signed. This defence minister is arguably the worst defence minister we've had in the history of independent India. As the Indian Navy tries to come to terms with the sudden resignation of its chief, Admiral D.K. Zoshi, on Wednesday, Questions are now being raised on the accountability of defence bureaucrats as well as Defence Minister A.K. Anthony, who is now India's longest serving defence minister. The question is, should the minister not be held responsible for the lack of modernisation of the Indian Armed Forces and especially the submarine fleet of the Indian Navy? In New Delhi, with Endravi, Nitin Gokhale for NDTV.